this is Andy's Golf and Travel Diary, literally on Lake Burton at the Waterfall Club in Clayton, Georgia, North Georgia Mountains. Beautiful, beautiful time. And I'm here with the Wiley family. The foursome this morning was Dr. Daryl Wiley, the patriarch, redneck of the family. Yeah, exactly. His son, Carson, and his son-in-law, Sam. And we're just having a great time. We're all done with the work. We're all done with the playing golf. And now we're going to head out on the, on the lake. So, Daryl, what's it going to be like being out on Lake Burton with the Wiley family? Well, let me tell you, if you got a family that looks this good, and if you got a lake that looks this good, it's got to be good. So it's going to be good. <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> Everybody wave. Yay, Play out. See ya. Carol, tell me a little bit about how you came to the game of golf. Who put the first golf club in your hands? I was living in Piedmont, South Carolina, right outside of Greenville, and we lived on the golf course. And uh, I was I was nine years old. And I, every day I went across the street and watched them play golf. So I begged my daddy for a set of golf clubs, and so he had a friend of his get me a set when I was ten years old. Are you listening? So I played. 36 holes from age 10 to age 14 every day at Piedmont at, um, at a Woodmont Golf Course. And uh, that's how I started playing. Pretty good game. Tell me a little about your collegiate career. Uh, yeah, I played uh, four years at a little small school out in West Tennessee, Freed, uh, Freed Hardeman University. Uh, Did your daddy go there? No, uh, it was a uh, all my brothers and sisters and got another bunch of family from uh, out in West Tennessee that all went there. Uh, my grandmother was a uh, was a very influential in the school's history, but um, uh, a lot of us went there. But I played four years out there. I wasn't I wasn't real good, but I had a really good time, and the game has taught me a lot of patience and a lot of endurance, and it's just been it's been good for me good for our family. Your son Carson's a pretty good golfer. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with him in terms of golf and bringing him to the game of golf. Well, both of my boys, uh, I, I had them playing golf when they were young, four, five, six years old, but uh, Carson in particular has always really loved the game, really loved studying swings and mechanics, and, uh, and it's been a really important part of our, our life together. Uh, I was tickled about three or four years ago when he was finally able to beat me, and uh, now we're really competitive. But uh, he says he beats you consistently now. Uh, no, he's wishing he beat me consistently. I can still get inside his head and beat him when I need to. Uh, yeah, you got you on that 18 hole. You birdied got, the last hey, few days. Yesterday, I birdied 17 and 18 to beat him. I birdied today, but he still beat me by about three shots. But. Uh, yeah, he can pull it off, but if I start messing with him, I, I can still beat him, and he knows it. He just can hit it a whole lot further than me. But uh, he can't chip and putt like I can. <laughs> I, I like how you had 145 yards to the 18th green, nine iron in your hand, and you asked him if that was the right club. Yeah. He said that's what he'd hit. A little wind in our face, and he knew I was going to be a little short. I, so I, I, I dug in and got just a little bit extra, 10 feet under the hole. I think it made him proud, but he knew I had his number at that point. And you drained it, yeah. And drained it. So tell me, uh, you have a unique story as how you became a member of the Waterfall Club. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, the, the, my uh, daughter Brooke was looking around for wedding venues. Is she the one uh, sleeping on the van? She is my sleeper. That girl will sleep uh, anywhere. She'll sleep. In fact, if any, anywhere okay. we, we would go to Augusta from, from our house, which is 20 miles, she falls asleep. She and my wife both, they're sleeping machines. Uh, in fact, don't don't look too quick, they'll both be asleep. <laughs> hey, you don't go to sleep up there or they'll know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Tell me a little bit, top three reasons you love being a member of the Waterfall Club. Uh, number one, because the, uh, the scenery around here is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, if you can't see God in being up here, then it's, it's hard to fathom that uh, you can see God. And secondly, uh, when we joined the club, I've, I've had this place up in the mountains for about eight or nine years. But once I joined, the kids 
love coming up here. So now that they're getting older, 22, 24, 26, they'll come up here with me any weekend we want to come. And uh, third, the people at the uh, Waterfall Club have just really been fantastic to us and our family. And uh, I've made a lot of really good friends with Chris and, and Blake, but uh, just good people, um, super low key, and it's real low volume, uh, really good people. Well, Doc, Daryl, Wiley, they could not have paired me with a nicer host oh. here at the Waterfall Club. Thank you very much yeah, I love for being, being a yeah. special part of Andy's Golf and Travel Diary. Got it, brother. Let's do it again. Carson, quite a remarkable round this morning. I think it was four or five birdies by my count. Yes, sir. I think you did take some money from the old man. I definitely took some money from him. If I didn't do anything, I took some money from him. Tell me a little bit about uh, how you came to golf. When, what do you, what's your earliest memory of golf with a golf club in your hand? Really just watching my dad play. And that's what really led me, made me love the game, is he loved the game. So he, he brought it to me and I picked it up and just ran with it. Tell me a little bit about uh, your college career and golf. And... Well, I was, college was a rough patch for me. Went through several swing changes. But really, I found the right teacher my last year and really brought me to my natural swing and really my natural rhythm. And really, I've taken off, taken off ever since then. What are your three top keys of enjoying a, a round of golf? Balancing between the enjoyment, the recreation, and putting up a score like you did today, which I think was, what, one or two under? Yeah. Well, I mean, opposite scenery. And, uh, I mean, just... Sorry, I got some distractions in the front. He's getting squirted. Yeah. Good focus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I was playing great, great, but beating everybody is also awesome. Uh, the competitive nature, and just really just the ability to be there at Waterfall playing. Well, Carson, I want to thank you. It was an awesome round watching you play with your dad and your brother-in-law, Sam. Thank you for being a special part of Andy's Golf and Travel Diary. Thank you. Well, here's the fourth member of our foursome this morning, Sam Pitts, and uh, your golf game is not the Pitts. It's relatively new. Well, yeah, still in the Pitts, but uh, trying to work my way out, so. Tell me a little bit about how you came to the game of golf. Well, uh, I was in undergrad in um, Augusta, Georgia, where I grew up, and uh, needed one hour PE credit at the time. And uh, there was a, a golf uh, class offered at Augusta State. And so I, I figured I'd give it a whirl. Uh, loved the game, but um, never really played again until I met Brooke. <laughs> and uh, married into, well, when I started dating Brooke, I think she was a little embarrassed of me until. Uh, I thought he maybe think you know. <laughs> I think she was a little embarrassed of me coming from a golfing family, so uh, she really encouraged me learning the game. Um, and then Carson and, and Mr. Darrell definitely kind of embraced the the, uh, the the teaching aspect of golf and have kind of guided me through the the, uh, the the pains of learning learning golf at an older age. <laughs> Thirty-six holes yesterday, eighteen holes today. Man. Your wife, I believe, is a clinical psychologist. That's correct. Uh, yes. It's not an addiction yet for you? Are you classified yet, or are you addicted to the game? I love it. I love it. And I love any kind of um, competition, and, uh, and it, it gives me the opportunity to go out there and, uh, and hang out with my father-in-law and brother-in-law. And uh, I'd say if I'm not addicted yet, I'm getting pretty close. <laughs> Orthopedic surgeon in residency. Yes, Any similarities sir. between your chosen career and the game of golf? You were pretty intense there for five hours out there today, or four and a half, whatever. It's a lot of work, and uh, it, it takes a long time to hone your skills, but uh, hopefully it pays off in the end. We'll see. I'm not there yet. <laughs> well, Sam, again, I went birdless this morning. You had a birdie, I think. Daryl had two. Carson had four or five. It was an honor to be out there on Waterfall Club with you and thank well, you for, for being such a special part of my day and 
even a, a blind, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. But uh, but it was an honor going out there and golfing with you as well. Yeah. Well, again, thanks for being a special part of Andy's golf and travel diary. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't lean back. Straight in. Don't lean back. Don't lean back. Be Go first. Straight in. Be first. Straight, straight in, down. First. All right, go ahead. Be good. We love you. Back up. Woo! Ouch. <laughs> See, we got we got the Coast Guard over here ready. All right. See? Sam. Oh <laughs> Sam's got a yard on you there. Come on. Get it. Carson going down. He's going to show it. Triple jump. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, <laughs>